And for my next trick, I'm gonna hypnotize a famous rapper into releasing their worst song in years. <gasps> oh, but who did I hypnotize? Was it Eminem, Drake, or J. Cole? It's the Going Off Podcast of Record and Community. <laughs> Oh, it could have been any of the big three, right? <laughs> what in the world is happening right now? Because <laughs> it was like, when, it, when when J. Cole released that, that grippy nonsense, it was just like, what? Like, I saw the lyrics, mm-hmm. and I was just looking like, huh? That, what is that? Ha-? And then I, like, heard someone, you know, th- there was some, like, cute e-girl or something like that doing, like, their interpretation yeah. of, like, like l- listen, look at how stupid what they're saying, what this guy's saying sounds like, you know? And then I was like, that can't be just how the song plays out, right? With that really awkward open space of the, I should call her, hmm, let me think. Hmm, hmm, Griffy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, oh. Griffy, it's like, Griffy. I call her that because it's Griffy. It's oh my God, 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 dude, no, stop. stop. <laughs> how, how, how did you even for a second consider yourself to be in the big three? Jay, <laughs> what is this? I, I just couldn't believe it. And, and, and like, it's, it's always those things on the internet where you're like, let me hear the full version because maybe they edited something. Maybe they, nah, it's it's just as bad as you thought it would be. <laughs> it's worse. Because yes. then you hear the other lines and you hear his, uh, you said you were gay, but I oh, fucked no. you so good you're strictly... <laughs> like, are we, are we really doing this shit again? What year is it? I God swear, damn it. I could swore it was specifically J. Cole that had to deal with a weirdly homophobic controversy like 10 years ago with the last album he did. Like, what? Remember he did the, that. Remember, and, I, 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 I used the AK the fucking... to slay F-words, okay? F-word, you know what it's like? Uh. <laughs> Ew, what? No, I don't remember that, luckily. <laughs> I just remember his trans men line from very very recently that we talked about oh, and now this, this yeah. it's like what the fuck's going on with him <laughs> uh, do, do him and eminem think there's an <laughs> untapped like oh, offensive rapper like, that like people need now mm, no one's talked about trans people in a derogatory way eminem eminem before you release that song i want to show you at least like 50 percent of conservative content right now on youtube can i can i show you that <laughs> <laughs> we're, yeah. we're full up. <laughs> we're all full up him. You know, that's the thing about this shit is like, it's not, yeah, I hate to quote Kanye, but like, it's not funny anymore. Try different jokes. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? We really seriously only have one fucking joke. What was it? My, my cat's Siamese. She's Japanese, but but oh, identifies as, <laughs> my cat's black, but so identifies bad. as Japanese. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Huh? Like, it was so convoluted to get to the same joke that everyone fucking... You know what I mean? It was just like, oh, okay, we're really doing this? That's what makes it feel so much more labored. It's like, oh, come on. Like, I feel like a weight is being psychologically pressed on me as he releases these fucking dad bar after dad bar after dad bar on that fucking whack-ass Houdini song. I'm so sick. <laughs> you know, the fucking Houdini song, it really is a... It, it's a mixed bag, in my opinion. Mm. Like... It's super meta and it's self-referential in a way that really does scream, my time is up. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, y'all, you didn't really fuck with any of my last shit. Like, none of it got radio play. The fucking stands loved it, but that was about it. Okay, what do I got to do? Let me make a music video that entirely references a music video from 20 years ago rc over 20 at this point yeah and in it i'm gonna fight a younger me a de-aged ai whatever me over a steve miller band interpolation like sampled (laughs) beat the more you describe it the more i'm groaning because i forgot about that too the because i was listening to the beat i was like what is this beat? What is this herky jerky sample? It's like it feels like what? And then when that hook is, I was like, no. I was like, at least do something with it. Not I'm gonna reach in my bag, bro. <laughs> like, come on. That's the worst. The worst he could have possibly done. I fucking messaged my friend. I was like, okay, look, he did the abracadabra thing. What do you think he did? He goes, oh, uh. I'm gonna reach out and stab you. Yeah, right. Like, no, that <laughs> no, that's probably would have been a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that, that's ICP. Yeah, you're right. 
Uh, yeah, this I'm gonna reach in my bag, bro. That's so awkward. Like it's not even it, like that's the most tepid way of building. Maybe on like the magician thing. Like magicians have bags, right? Uh, this bag of tricks. You'd be thinking like a hat or something like that, but whatever. But then just the way it started with the "Hey, M, it's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. Good fucking luck. You're on you're on your own. Uh, you like that callback, guys?" <laughs> Yeah, you gotta love that. And, then, and now he's like beefing with Paul in the song too. I don't care. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking get it. And the way he's it's like, and that's the thing. Like there were like one or two lines where it's like, oh, lyrical technician and electrician, y'all light work. I was like, oh, okay, that was kind of something. But then that's what I thought too. It's like that's right? all right. <laughs> yeah, but then when he does the, and you know, I'm here to stay because me, if I were to ever take a leave, it would be aspirin to break a fieve. And just these four scrums that make this wordplay work. And if I was to ask Megan the Stallion if she would collab with me, would I really have a shot at a feet? Yeah, that's such a stretch. You, you like that guy? <laughs> this is like, stop it. And, and he, he, he got people talking for like 10 minutes about that bar. And then everybody went on talking about how shitty the rest of the song is. Yes. And what, what is it? Because it, it's that thing where it's like, it sounds so... Like, bending over backwards to make this rhyme happen. And I'm trying to find specific... Oh, yeah. Where he would do, like, um... Ate some codeine as a way of coping. Taste of opiates. Uh, case of OE. Turn my smiley face... Uh, turn me smiley face emoji. My shit may not be age appropriate. But I will hit an eight-year-old in the face with a participation trophy. It's like... It's so, like... Uh, I'm getting over this hill to make this rhyme happen. <laughs> you know? It's like... You can feel it. And then... What the, oh, participation trophies. Oh, hey. Early 2000s. Uh comedians called they want their fucking joke back like are you serious right now <laughs> but you know what i do me. gotta say uh, as much as i absolutely hate the song what? the and for my last trick i that gets stuck in my head <laughs> my last trick, i'm gonna make my career disappear <laughs> he's fucking going to dude and he's gonna be sweet release i feel like Eminem will be so fucking relieved when he doesn't have to do this shit anymore. It's like it doesn't. Like, it doesn't feel like he enjoys it. It feels like a hernia. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Like I don't know when we have to. Oh, and did you notice this too? Because you know we got the guess who's back. Guess who's back. Yeah, like we need all uh... these things, right? Uh, and then for whatever reason, <laughs> oh God, this was, this was maybe the worst part of the whole thing was there was a part of where him and Dre are driving in the car. Oh, in the music right? video, yeah. And, and they randomly get in this fight and Dre hits Eminem and you hear the, ah! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I had like a psychic break for a second. Like, you, this motherfucker did not just. <laughs> Why are we fucking doing this, dude? And then what, what was that one line? Snake ass break you a male cross. Yeah, 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 we heard that one. But uh, uh yeah. Th then the, you too, Paul, referencing Paul. You know the guy. You too, Paul. Got two balls, big as RuPaul's. Like, oh my god, I could have swore Ugh. I heard a '90s rapper make this reference already. I think it was on a Tupac song specifically, actually. <laughs> I was like, and, oh, and what is that? An, how is that an insult? You've got what? big balls, <laughs> Paul. Like, like what? I, I don't know. I guess big balls to uh, cross dress in this class. No, that joke would work better in the '90s. You know, like, oh, that's more transgressive. Now it's like, I don't understand what you're even trying to say. Like, you know, like RuPaul. Like, is, is that even based in in anything, or is he just making shit up? It's literally just to say you a fake ass bitch. Like, but oh, male uh, cross dresser uh, is uh, he get poking you in the fucking ribs <laughs> with the bumping R. Kelly's favorite group, the Black Guy Peas. Get out, Eminem. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Go in the house. <laughs> that line is bad enough, right? Yeah. But the way it's said, <laughs> it's it like stutters. It's like the Black Guy Peas. Yes. It's like. You could have just said it. You didn't have to make it, like, super obvious. That's what I mean by, like, the belabored, like, you get it, folks. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, ugh. Then we gotta, we gotta hit the alley-oop. 
<laughs> with Mr. With, with Mr. Aubrey Graham with this bullshit uh. song. What in the absolute fuck? And let's head this off with the past right now. <laughs> it, no, guys, it's a joke. I was totally joking. I was just making Canadian jokes. <laughs> Canadian japes and jokes. It's like, yeah, yeah, really fucking funny. No, we know exactly what the fuck you're doing. Your PR team was like, holy shit, what the fuck are we going to do to make it uh, to be your le- next single? Uh, let's try to rally your Canadian fans, rally that fan base. Uh, you know how you were uh, just doing a, you know, a ripoff of uh, Jamaican uh, styles over here and UK styles over there. Atlanta style. Let's put on some maple face for you so you can just like uh, do all these Canadian jokes. Oh, look, I'm referencing these uh, all these Canadian references, but while doing the fucking Jafakian accent. Oh, oh, wait, what? But you get it? West in, there's a West Indian population in there, so so it's totally okay. Yeah, you know the fucking Ali G show was making fun of the fact that there was a white guy who was in you know England, and there is a big West Indies culture there too, but is appropriating it without clearly knowing dick about it. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like get the fuck out of here with this shit. We need to backtrack too. So yeah. <laughs> let's slow things down a bit because. We completely forgot and skipped over uh, what came out since our last episode, uh, the song with Sexy Red. What? What's happening? I didn't hear this. Where where Drake raps over the BBL Drizzy oh, beat. Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm so aware, guys. I'm, I'm so aware. I, I'm aware, guys. I, I'm not going to, like, address anything like the having the fake abs or anything, but I'm, like, so aware of how much of a joke I am. <laughs> I, I like, too, by the way, that that itself seemed pretty innocuous. Like, yeah, hey, I'm just going to do this feature on the Sexy Red song. Sh- she's a big up-and-comer. Hey, what what's this video of a Sexy Red performance? Wait... What's that giant red thing behind her on stage? Hmm? Oh, a big inflatable MAGA hat? Oh. Huh. What's this other video of Sexy Red? Oh, the video of her saying that Donald Trump should win in the next election? Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, this is good. This is real good. All right. So Drake hitches his wagon to shit Sexy Red. Which, by the way, aside from Drake's whack verse over the BBL Drizzy part being, like, the best part of the song, (laughs) that song is so trash, dude. Like, I've never listened to Sexy Red outside that song, and I don't feel like I need to now. Yeah, no. I think this is big false alarm. (laughs) I thought, hey, you know, Sexy Red's the big new up-and-comer. She showed up on WWE television because, like, she references rap uh, wrestlers in her rap song sometimes, apparently. She's, like, a big fan. I was like, okay, I guess she's, you know, on the come-up. Watch out, Doja Cat. Watch out, Megan Thee Stallion. Watch out. Uh, never mind. Um, you know what, actually? Uh, forget that. Forget I said any goddamn thing. And who the fuck is Drake featured on this new song? He sounds ob- ob- obnoxious as hell. It it so sounds like, like I said, the way he's using the UK artists and, and the Atlanta artists, now he's using, now he's going back to his hometown. Look, I'm addressing your concerns. I, I'm just going to take advantage of uh, some, you know, fuckhead that nobody knows from my c- uh, country. Yeah. I'm yeah. addressing your concerns. That's so funny. It's like a big PR move. Uh, you know, like, can't you feel it off of the fact that this track is like a, no, no, guys, look, it's just a joke song that I'm featuring on it. <laughs> but, like, when you listen to the verse, there's no fucking joke. Like, he's just doing what no. he always does, but slightly more, uh, you know, uh, ca- Canadian grammared up. Like, just slightly more. You know what I mean? And it just feels like, like, it's not like he's doing an exaggerated joke on himself where you're like, oh, aren't you aware? No, it's supposed to be, I'm so cool. Don't mind me that my friend is so cool and he's got a ski mask on. No, it's just because he's just, like, out in these streets like that because I'm still gay. You know, it's just like, what are you doing? It's the same thing. What are you talking about? It's a parody. A parody is supposed to be an over-the-top, like, joke on something. Like, what is the difference between... Have you listened to the whole song, like, the, the other guy's verse and his shit, too? I, I tried to, but dude, I fucking hate that guy's voice so fucking so bad. bad. I seriously skipped through his shit because I could not I could not stand his voice. Got to Drake's, and I was like, okay, that's it? That's what this whole thing is? Okay, I'm good. Fuck this. Oh, my God. So, basically, you know, because I... 
look, I try to give things the benefit of a doubt, right? You know, it's like, uh-huh. oh, people are joking on it. Well, let me give it a chance. And then I'm listening to it. It's like, oh, it's supposed to be like, like I said, let me take them at their word. Oh, it's supposed to be like a parody of the Hey There Delilah, but I'm flipping it to be like, oh, more gangster, Canadian gangster street, I guess, fucking trailer park boys over here, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, but it, the way he starts it, it's like, it almost starts as a joke where it's like, Wagwan Delilah, what's it like in Toronto City? I'm 2,000 kilometers away. What? A thousand miles? But he said 2,000 because the difference in. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but the way he rhymes it, look, I, let's take it back to Weird Al. I'm sorry. But like the way he like, you know, ends the, the rhyme of like, Wagwan Delilah, what's it like in Toronto City? I'm 2,000 kilometers away, but girl, tonight you look so bad. Oh, yes, you do. What? Well, you. Nothing? You didn't have a rhyme there? It was just, you look so bad. Oh, yes, you do. Like, Toronto, it, the original <laughs> song is, was it like New York City? You look so pretty. Like, come, it, it, come on, were you going to do a rhyme there? Or, you know, you could have you said, no, you're no, a no. baddie or something like that. That at least has the E rhyme there. You know, like, you clearly didn't fucking try. And, you know, it becomes that thing of like, oh, yeah, like, I'm sorry to get especially heated about the idea of like, oh, it's supposed to be a joke parody song, but I'm like, no, a joke parody song has to heighten things, has to heighten the joke where it's so over the top, you're aware that it's silly. For the most part, this just sounds like a bad uh, uh, rapping over the well-known song from 10 years ago that people know thing that everyone's fucking doing now. It was a guy named, like, Cash Cobain and uh, and someone who did, like, uh, Hate You, Delilah, or something like that. It's like, God damn it. Uh. <laughs> like, that, that was so much better. <laughs> One more thing about about Houdini. Um, <laughs> so in the video, him uh, him current day uh, fights old two thousand two two thousand three Eminem. Does he M&M. fight him? I, I, don't they like blend? And then it's like the beard of fifty one year old Eminem with the blonde hair of twenty year old Eminem. Blah. 